This is about laminate section in the composite environment. Drop-off and ply color coding. In this model, we have a few plies and a core defined, as you can also see in the graphics area. Let's now define a laminate section. Switch on the datum planes and select this datum. We can drag the section and as you see, it dynamically updates. There is a color coding going on, which corresponds to the color coding in the laminate list, as well as with the color coding on the ply contour outlines. Besides the color coding, the special option in the laminate section is the scale factor. By increasing the scale factor, the ply thickness is enlarged. The core thickness is kept constant, as that is already relatively thick to the ply thickness. So in order to better see what you're working with, we allow you to scale the thickness of the plies. And obviously, as with other sections in Creo, there is the auxiliary display and the additional other options. By looking at the laminate section, we can clearly see the core and the other plies and how they're dropping over each other. If we go to the default drop-off setting, you will see that for this model, it is set to one, in this case, millimeters, because it's a metric part, meaning that the distance between the underlying outer contour of this yellow ply and that contact point, there is one millimeter distance. If we switch on the laminate manager to view the columns, we can add the drop-off column. Besides changing the default to maybe 1.5 millimeter, and regenerating, you will see that the drop-off for all plies has now increased. And that's maybe not what you're after. So we can keep this maybe at one millimeter and then take ply number four and change its value to be 0.5 millimeter. So we have ply granular control to change the drop-off behavior. We can also put the drop off for ply five to zero, making it drop vertically adhere to the underlying ply. From the setup group, there is the color mapping tool. And here you can change the colors as you prefer. You can choose a different color like that. Go for more colors and define your own. Or actually use the default set by the system and go back to the original. And of course, as with any model in Creo, we can add more laminate sections. And you see the discrepancy here. That's clearly because the scale is not the same. If I would match the scale, it will line up with the other section. But it's for you to decide if you want these sections to have the same scale or different. You can choose as you apply it. We can also deactivate the section so it no longer clips the model. And of course, Turn off the visibility completely. Thank you.